what's up peddlers paul here um i was gonna try to do a live stream but it seems like the internet connectivity here at the golf club resort thing that i'm at is uh quite fickle and uh <clears throat> not able to, to really connect enough to do a live stream so i'm going to do a quick update um this will be most likely it's going to be today's post just because uh uh, I, uh, I can't, I can't do anything else. Um, I couldn't sit down anymore, so I decided to, to go outside and take a bit of a walk. Uh, so the short and long of it is, and I don't have, yeah, I'm really out of it. It's, this kind of sucks. Uh, so I crashed yesterday. And when I say I crashed, when I crash, it usually crashed pretty good, but this time I uh, I didn't crash as good as I normally do, and I typically try to avoid crashing because crashing hurts. But uh, so yesterday uh, we were riding Bailey, and they've uh, they've got a pretty pretty sweet jump line out there. It's called Rick James. So like, how do you not go ride Rick James, bitch? I had to. Um, it was awesome. So, like, yesterday was going pretty well. Uh, we got out to Asheville, like, 8 a.m. or so. Made my ritualistic stop at the Chick-fil-A in Asheville on the way to Bailey. And uh, it was cool. I've been, I've been trying to get a hold of Bobo for a while. And the cool part was, is as we're sitting down eating breakfast, uh, I see Bobo's bike and Bobo's truck and... There was a Bobo uh, pulling in Chick-fil-A, so that was pretty awesome. Um, I probably walk back inside and get shoes on. This uh, asphalt's kind of a little bit warm. Um, so it was cool. I, uh, I finally actually got to meet Bobo in person. Um, I've been following him for a while now. Um, wow, that's hot. I step in the shade for a second. Whew. Like really hot on my feet. Um, so it was cool, yeah, I, uh, we talked for a little bit, he was, uh, on his way to a patron meet, which was awesome, um, I almost wish I would've went to that instead of going to Bailey, cause this most likely would not have happened. Um, so I'll get to the crash and what happened here in a little bit, but, so, I just kinda wanna go with, uh, what the, the trip was supposed to be, it's supposed to be Bailey some other mountain bike parks no she was on the list but then we were looking at sugar or beach neither one of those is going to happen for me now uh, which i'm super bummed about uh, i was kind of hoping that they were going to end up in like dupont today or tomorrow which they might tomorrow still um so that way i can at least go walk around a little bit take some photos stuff like that but um, so, anyway, like, like I said, the day was going awesome. Got some great riding in, had a bunch of new-to-the-mountains riders. Everybody was doing good. Um, the day was coming close to an end, which, <laughs> yes, we know, all, we all know better. Um, I had to go find this line. I'd seen some photos and videos of it. It looked awesome, and the fact that they called it Rick James was even better. So, I went searching, and we found it. And we did kind of, I call it like a dry run. And this uh, this line has some massive tabletops, which I was like, sweet. Um, no reason to not just go for it. So, that's, uh, that's what I did. Was, went back up. Got some people together so we could uh, do some filming and yeah, all the best things happen in the world once the cameras come out. Um, I did a few posts on Instagram and uh, I actually have to thank the, uh, the guy that created this GoPro mod that I ended up using for the chest mount that I had. One second. Try that again. Okay. 
Alright, let's twist. Oh. Okay, if that didn't look like sheer pain in my face, it was. Um, anyway, Rick James hit the first major table, cleared it super clean, went for the second one, which is just a huge, like basically a tabletop dirt jump. It was massive. Sent it, ended up getting bucked a little forward, and uh, almost, almost, almost had it. Like, that's one of those times that it's likely that if I was on a DH bike, I probably would have ridden it out. Um, but I was not on a DH bike, so uh, bottomed out most likely. Came in nose heavy. And uh, OTB. And how I, I, I know I ditched the bike as I, as I knew I was going over. Because um, I don't. I don't feel like I hit the bike at all, but uh, I did slide a bit. The helmet got dirty, but I have uh, no impact damage on the helmet from what I can tell. And uh, I've got a pretty, pretty good scrapes down my back, a bit on my shoulder. Ribs and back are Pretty much an excruciating pain anytime I try to do anything other than stand up and maybe do some walking. If it twists, sit, stand, lay, anything, anything from one position to another sucks. But, um, so basically, uh, get the crash, had my buddies out there with me, everybody kind of kept me calm. Um, during the crash, I, like I said, uh, I was running the uh, GoPro chesty mount with my Sony action camera on it. And uh, I can definitely tell that I landed on that at least once. Um, so breathing is has been very hard and painful. Um, there's actually now some swelling a bit around some of my ribs, which I don't know if it's a good sign or a bad sign. Swelling sometimes is a good sign. I mean, shit's healing, but um, like moving around, I've, I basically had just been having to baby my right side, which means pushing and doing everything on my left side, which is uh, I can't can't use any of my own muscles on my my right arm. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm getting off track. The uh, the brunt of the damage was uh, I could tell right away it was definitely my shoulder. Um, at first, I had pretty good movement in it. I could still move it. Didn't feel dislocated. Didn't feel broken. Um, everybody's a little bit concerned about possibly the uh, collarbone being broken or or something. So anyway, we uh, after the crash, rested up for a bit. Um, we were gonna do a run each, me and Rod, and we're all yelling at Rod. They're, my buddies are yelling at my buddy Rod to not go. He goes, he sends it, he crashes as well um, on this second huge booter. And I, I was coherent enough and mobile enough to stop his bike from smashing into me. Because basically as soon as I went down, I feel kind of like uh, the, the shock from the pain setting in. Um, I knew I was going to get hot really quick. So helmet came off goggles came off um, got the gloves off the chest mount was the one thing that was like a serious issue which sucks because it was modded so lots of uh, extra parts but my buddies were really quick about getting over keeping me calm which I don't think I was freaked out I just I knew that I'd, I'd hurt myself and I knew I was having trouble breathing so uh, I was trying to trying to play the uh, emergency responder in me even though I was the injured guy trying to make sure everything that needed to get done got done they were all super helpful and uh, there was uh, we, we called down I sent a four-wheeler to come get me which the nearest access road was up the mountain and uh, up the mountains kind of a no-go for me like I pretty much had to let gravity go I ended up hiking myself 
down the uh, trail, which if you've ever been to Bailey, the trails there are steep and slippery. Um, so, made it down to to the, the main shuttle road. Um, a guy who is one of the owners of the park, super cool guy, um, he was there, he, he got me mostly situated at some point. Um, we're doing kind of a trail side assessment, moving, checking me out. And uh, there was a point where there's something on the shoulder he touched and like instantly there's extreme pain and like everything started going white. And I told him, I'm like, hey, look, everything, something like going super hot everything's going white i need to i need to lay down or somebody needs to catch me because I'm, I'm gonna pass out and i'm like it's not a concussion i don't feel lightheaded like that i feel like extreme pain and like white out situation so they took care of me he uh did a good job he got me down the mountain uh we called the emts out because at this point i'm like I, I i don't know what's going on they did some more checking out and so I got a ride to the hospital in an ambulance. That was fun. Get to the hospital, kind of explain the situation, and um, get some x-rays, which was super fun. Uh, because <laughs> at that point, I'm, I'm realizing how much things hurt. So getting in and out of the, the bed that they put me in was kind of a no-go. But they also wanted me to like, lean up so that he get the uh, the wireless x-ray bits in place which with my ribs and my back the way they were that was just absolutely excruciating uh, I laugh because I've kind of been joking with everybody about this it, it hurts everything hurts but that being said it, it could have been a thousand times worse could have been better. I could have just landed it and had great footage. So anyway, speaking of footage, off topic. I am mostly okay. I'm going to be stuck in North Carolina for a couple more days. Uh, we'll, well, maybe. We'll see how Rod's feeling after today. Uh, him and his, his girlfriend went out riding. Uh, he, uh, he got bruised up a little bit, but good enough to get up and keep going. So... We'll see how they're doing. Um, if things aren't great for him, there's a chance we might leave early. If not, then uh, it looks like I'm going to be hanging out and doing injured rider things, which is relax and eat copious amounts of uh, ibuprofen to let me at least move around every once in a while. But so anyway, that's, that's kind of the update. There is some footage. I haven't actually checked the footage from the Sony yet. Um, I had one of my SJ cams set up on the first jump. So we'll kind of see how that looked. It looked like Rod was saying he went a bit nose heavy on the first one. Um, there is footage on my phone. And if anybody has any clue about Android um, or just kind of, I'm going to call it corrupt files, just unreadable files, I have a file on here. It's video file size and it says video but it's showing up as an unknown file so if anybody has any tricks or tips on how to uh, recover that information I'm going to try a few things that I know uh, including trying to load it up on uh, uh, Linux and see if Linux can figure it out um, I'm also going to toss it into Windows but I doubt Windows will know what to do with it if my phone doesn't but that's my update uh, as it stands I'm down six to eight weeks or something like that or four to six weeks I can't I don't know what she said basically I'm down until I can start moving it again without excruciating pain and then there's the rehab side of things so that's the situation um, I'm going to work on footage and see what I can find and try to uh, get a video out for you guys next week so thanks for pedaling with me i didn't do much pedaling but i did a lot of crashing i'll talk to you guys later